Have you ever been watching a show and then thought it was kind of dumb only to realize a few episodes later that you actually think it has some of the best messaging that you've probably ever seen in a show recently? Well, that was me, and here today, I'm here to talk about Windbreaker. It's Windbreaker's brand new anime that has been airing in this 2024 summer season. And so far, like I said, the first few episodes, I was kind of like, okay, yeah, some, you know, fist to cuff gangs in Japan or in high school, as is most animes, and they're beating the crap out of each other. And what what's the point of all of this? And as I started going along through the show, I realized, holy crap, this is actually a show that I would want my son to see because... There's a lot of things here that I think could be highly valuable to young men. And no, it's not beating the crap out of each other. It's everything in and around that. So as I said, getting into this show, it is brand new to me. I only started checking it out about a week or two ago, and I've been wanting to do a video on it since I started watching it because I just could not believe the storytelling aspects of it. So a young man from a different part of town decides that he's going to come into town. He is a fighter. He's been made fun of his whole life because he has main character hair and main character eyes, and I'm surprised that they don't know that. Actually, the show does know that, but we won't go into that. Regardless, the main character comes into town. I'm absolutely terrible with names, guys. I would love to say the names, but I'll just put up the pictures and the images of the characters that I'm talking about on screen comes into town and decides that he's going to earn the top spot as the best fighter because the only way that he knows to gain notoriety is to become the biggest and best fighter in this school. Now, the story behind this school is that years ago, they used to be just a bunch of hooligans like everybody else, but something changed. Something happened, and all of a sudden, these young men went from being just the normal ragtag hooligans to fighting off the rival high school gangs and helping their community. Not only helping their community, but helping it thrive and becoming a part of it as more than just a fist to cuff gangs like the rest of the schools around the area. So the new guy comes in and he has a massive chip on his shoulder. We're gonna call it the main character chip because he's the main character. And let's face it, all main characters have some version of a chip on their shoulder, it seems. Well, no, that's completely wrong. Don't listen to that. That was bad. Wow, where did that come? Anyway, he comes in. He's got this massive chip on his shoulder. He thinks that everybody's going to hate him. He doesn't understand why people are acting so kind to him because he's never really experienced that in his life. And this community comes around him, and they basically show him that it's one thing to want to do things for yourself. It's another thing to want to do things for other people. And honestly, as soon as they started bringing that element into the show, that's when my mindset really began to change. And you started seeing how all of these young men who probably have very little guidance in their lives, I'm, I'm just assuming, I don't know, I haven't gone super far into the story, but they're all coming together for the greater good, right? There's brotherhood in this show in a way that I haven't seen a lot in a lot of anime. I, you do see a lot of brotherhood, but not like this. A lot of times there's superpowers involved, there's deeper plot threads, there's it's smaller groups of people. This is a whole high school coming together and they have each other's backs. And not only do they have each other's backs, they have the back of the little old lady down the street who lost her cat and they need to go and rescue it. They also have the back of the shop owner who needed the side of his building painted because there was graffiti on it. And they keep going out and doing these things and building that bond and building that brotherhood. The other thing that really, really struck me off the bat is not just the brotherhood thing, but one of the leaders, the leader of the school that the main character is going to. Can't remember the main character's name. Remember this guy's name. It's Umemia, Umemia, I can't remember. Something with the U, he's got the white hair. He's got the cool guy white hair. We all know who he's talking about. Why can I not remember names to save my life anyway? The captain of the school, the big boss of the school basically tells him, he's like, hey, here's the deal, man. He goes, you want the top spot. It takes a lot more than just being strong and a good fighter. And he goes on to explain several episodes in that he didn't get the top spot because he did it on his own. Everybody put their faith and their trust in him and he isn't gonna let them down. And not only that, but he also said one thing in one of, I think it was like episode 10 or 11 that I absolutely loved. He just wants people to gather, 
people to come together over food and have a good time and share stories with each other because food is something that everybody can come together over. It's actually, believe it or not, a personal belief of mine in my life. I, If you've ever been to this channel before, you hear me talk about barbecue all the time and I built my own barbecue grills and my own smoker and stuff because I want to bring people together through the experience of food. And that was such a through line for me seeing that. And then the main character, again, massive chip on his shoulder, seeing how all of these other people come together and work together and thrive together and he doesn't know how to do any of that. But yet, the kindness that he has been shown deserves something back. And he knows it, but he doesn't know how to be kind. He was never really given that opportunity. And that's honestly one of the things that I, I'm really, really enjoying this show for, is because it takes the idea of the outsider and becoming, you know, part of the school, but it throws a lot of other elements in there that I think are absolutely fantastic for a lot of young men today. A lot of media today, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love the typical shonen stuff. Fighting for the right reasons, you know, having the superpowers, this, that, and the other thing. The camaraderie there. And a lot of those shows, you know, think of like, I think of like Black Clover, My Hero Academia, obviously Demon Slayer, things like that. You do see a lot of those, but it just oozes from Windbreaker in a way that I, I, I have not seen before. I am also still an anime noob because, well, I kind of walked away from it for a lot of years and I'm getting back into it because my kids are getting old enough and now they want to get into it. And as I was watching this show, I started thinking to myself, my God, this is, this is all the type of things that I want to teach to my son and to my daughters and have them grow up and realize that people can be this way, even though the world can be a dark place. And so right now, as far as I'm concerned, Windbreaker, for me, takes the top spot for anime that I've been exposed to this year. But if you guys have a better one, let me know uh, what you think the best anime of 2024 is so far. And I would love to hear it from you guys, because to be perfectly honest, the show just kind of caught me off guard. I was like, oh, hey, high school students punching each other again. I have never seen that, but wait a minute. Hold on. They're punching each other, but in a nice way. And I've not seen that before. So let me know down in the comments below, guys. I really wanted to talk about Windbreaker. I think the show is just absolutely fantastic. And I think there is a lot there for young men to look at and to understand that camaraderie, togetherness, community, all of those things, that's what we need to strive for as human beings. And honestly, that's why I wanted to talk about this show so bad. If there are other things that you guys wanna see on this channel, let me know. I love doing theory videos for video games, theory videos for, uh, I actually did a sh one on Shangri-La Frontier. You guys should check out that video right now. The absolutely awesome things that are happening in the worlds of technology and the Shangri-La Frontier VR headset is actually rear. <laughs> it's actually rear, rear butts, it's butts. No, it's real, go check out that video and leave a comment over there as well and as always thank you all so much for watching and i would love to hear your thoughts